best straws coming for me, I swear down. Hi guys, welcome back to a new video. If you're new here, my name is Anushka. So today I'm so excited because we're gonna be trying to make my birthday cake. I wanna make an epic birthday cake that's definitely different to what I've ever done before. And as I've been learning more and kind of trying to like perfect my cake decorating and cake baking skills i thought why not try and do something totally different for my birthday it's actually tomorrow so um yeah i'm just gonna spend the afternoon doing my cake basically okay, before i start anything i'm just putting my oven on to 170 degrees celsius i've got a fan oven before we jump into the video i'm going to do my post notification shout out today's one's going to go to aim lasson so thank you so much for leaving a comment for watching my video i really really appreciate it um, and if you guys want to get one next time all you have to do is subscribe press the bell button and let me know in the comments below when you've done so or you can just leave a nice comment so for this recipe we're going to do kind of like a vanilla pastish pastichio what vanilla pistachio kind of cake batter i don't know how this is going to turn out but we'll give it a go i'm not going to lie i've had some fails but i think this will work out so the ingredients are 375 grams of self-raising flour 375 grams of granulated sugar 375 grams of unsalted softened butter at room temperature four and a half tablespoons of milk i've got four and a half eggs here don't ask me how i measured in half you can put four but i'm going to do four and a half and then I've got 50 grams of pistachio jello powder mix. Now I got this on Amazon and it tastes so good when you just mix it with milk. But I thought I'll try it with some cake. So wish me luck guys. I'm no expert and I'm just going to say that right now because I'm not. So the first thing you want to grab is your butter. And then I'm going to grab my sugar and put it in with the butter. And we're basically going to cream this and mix this together until it's nice and light and fluffy. Okay, I'm now going to slowly add in my eggs. Okay, now I'm going to add in my pistachio jello mix powder. Next, we're going to grab our self-raising flour and I'm just going to sift this in slowly. Okay, so next I'm going to do a teaspoon of my vanilla extract. I finally got these um, spoons on Amazon and they're so handy, guys. And I realised I actually didn't used to put that much vanilla extract in my stuff. And I'm also going to put the milk in. And we're going to give this a real quick mix. So I'm just going to take my spatula and make sure everything's nicely combined. This is what the batter's looking like so far. Okay, so I've buttered um, the edges of the 8 inch pans that I have. And I'm just going to put some parchment paper. I know you guys have been coming at me in the comments and telling me to use this. I just feel like it's a bit of waste if I can avoid it. But I don't want to mess up my cake today. So I'm just going to put this down on the bottom. Because then the cake just literally pops right out. These are ready and I'm going to start filling them now. I'm going to get my trusty old scale out and measure these. And now I'm just going to smooth the edges. And I'm going to put this in the oven at 170 degrees Celsius for around 20 minutes. But you want to make sure a toothpick comes out clean. So yeah, I'm just going to smooth these and paste these straight in the oven. So in the oven they go. I'm going to make sure that they're nicely cooked 20 minutes, if not 30. It really depends. But we're going to move on to making a Swiss meringue buttercream. Now, I've always loved normal buttercream, but I thought I'd change it up this time. So yeah, I'm so excited about this. 
So the ingredients that, that you need are quite simple. You just need 300 grams of granulated sugar, five egg whites at room temperature, um, 452 grams of butter, unsalted butter at room temperature. I know that's a lot of butter. Cholesterol's coming for me, I swear down. And we need a teaspoon of vanilla extract, and that's it. Don't judge my bowl, okay? This is like those ones that come from India. I think this has come from India, it's so old. But it's perfect for putting on simmering water and melting certain ingredients whenever you need to. So I've got some water simmering here. I don't want it to be too hot. Um, and what you want to do is put your egg whites in and your sugar. Just want to give this a good mix. And what I did beforehand was um, kind of wipe down the bowl with some vinegar because you, I mean, you don't have to, but if you think like there's some, maybe some like grease residue or butter, like I use butter with this a lot. So I thought, let me just wipe it down with some vinegar. So um, I can be sure that my meringue will really like mix well. So as you can see, this is quite runny like so. And um, now what we need to do is cook this. Um, and it's quite grainy and we want to get rid of that so we're going to put it on the simmering water like the whole bowl I'm just going to go over here to my stove and put it on top here and you want to keep giving this a mix so I'm just kind of like feeding the mixture in between my fingers every now and then it's starting the grains are starting to go Okay, I'm quite happy with the mixture right now. This is what it looks like. It's very liquidy. The only way you can tell if this is good is by rubbing it between your fingers and it's finally gone nice and smooth. So now I'm gonna get my stand mix out. Okay, I've wiped everything down with vinegar and now I'm gonna put our egg mixture in. And we're gonna put this on a high speed. I'm gonna whip this for a good while until it starts forming um, stiff peaks. Okay, you should be happy when you get really nice stiff peaks like this and it's just holding its shape really nicely okay so I'm gonna let this cool because it's still a bit warm before I put the butter in so I'm gonna put it in the fridge for a bit okay now that the meringue is nice and cool I'm gonna add in our butter but we're gonna do this slowly Okay, I thought I'd go to this setup here because I just feel like you can really see up close what I'm doing. So I'm just going to grab a small bowl and I'm going to take some of my Swiss buttercream which actually became cold in a fridge. And I'm going to take quite a bit of it because this will be my filling and the cover and the rest will just be for like extra decorations. So I really want my buttercream to be this um, lilac key shade so I'm going to take this... Uh, what brand is this? Walton Icing Colour. I got this set from Amazon and this is the purple shade right here. It comes with all the colours as well. And literally, I'm just going to take a toothpick and dot it. And literally dot it in there. So I'm just going to whisk this up. And obviously you can store your buttercream, but you just need to whip it up again. I'd rather go little by little than put a big blob of purple and then it become too dark. So the only time I've used these colours with um, ice icing was with just icing sugar and water but I guess with buttercream you can be a bit more free handed with the amount of colour you put in. Slowly getting like, it's kind of like a weird colour right now, it's like a greyish lavender. I mean it's not the brightest lilac purple I wanted, it's more like a grey but actually I'm not mad at it you know. I'm really not sure about this colour. Okay, so I've got my cake pieces here. They came out really well. They've risen quite nicely. So what I'm going to be doing is a fault line cake. So the middle cake will have to be slightly smaller. So I've decided this will be my middle layer. I'm just going to take a really, just like a slightly smaller plate. And I'm just going to cut around it. 
Now that I've got my middle bit done, I'm going to take the first piece right here. Take my palette knife and just put some in the centre here. Our first layer. I really don't know how this is going to turn out. And we're going to put our buttercream. And then we're going to take our smaller piece and put it right in the center. Doesn't matter if it's not completely neat. Okay, and then we're going to put another layer of buttercream. So I'm going to do a crumb quote here because obviously I've trimmed it. Just keep going back and forth. I'm just going to do the sides here too. I don't even know what colour this cake is, honestly. I'm just gonna do a rough crumb coat and then we just wanna smooth this surface right here. Then we're gonna take the final piece. I'm quite happy with that crumb coat. I'm going to put this in the fridge for a bit so it can settle and then I'm going to prepare the buttercream. Guys, as you can see here, I created some different colours with the buttercream. I only did a bit because we're going to be doing like little flowers and leaves, so there's not much. And I already started taking, I don't even know what shade this is to be honest. Um, I definitely need to improve in my colour making skills. But I'm just trying to imitate like roses. I'm not doing a good job at it to be honest I'm just gonna take some of the blue and do little kind of like little flower dots thingies I mean it's coming together actually I do you know I was really starting to question this but I think I can salvage it My concentration is real. Oh my god, that's actually not looking too bad. Okay, now we've got the leaf one, but I think it's too big. Oh no, it's actually working. So now I'm going to take my small palette knife with the purple shade. I had to make more purple. I think I'm just going to smooth it on the top first. Right now, I'm just trying to put a thick layer. Doesn't really matter 
if it goes over our flower section because you want it to kind of create like a basically like a tear almost okay so now i'm going to take my cake smoother just wish me luck guys Honestly, I'm really not mad at that. I mean, the colours are questionable, but right now I'm just fixing it, fix, fixing it? I'm just fixing it, fixing the edges. Oh my god, it's too late. Honestly, it actually looks really cute. I mean, I definitely need some improving in some places. Um, but I did that. Basically, I'm not done with this yet. Like, I want to add some finishing touches. So I'm going to put this in the fridge overnight and then I'm going to finish it up tomorrow because I think the buttercream is a bit too soft right now to touch it even more. So, yeah, but anyway, so far I'm really happy. I mean, I actually can't believe that I did this. Like, it looks so nice. Honestly, I'm so, so exhausted. Like, I've been up all day i've only done six thousand steps but yeah i'm so glad i did my little cake guys look at it over there um so yeah we'll add the finishing up touches tomorrow i can't believe tomorrow's my birthday it's so weird but it's gonna be really chilled i'm not gonna even bother wearing makeup i know it's my birthday but i honestly just want to eat like my husband's burger because he makes the best burgers ever and just watch movies all day and just do nothing so yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing and I can't wait to eat my cake as well. I can't wait to try it because it's definitely different batter that I'm, I'm, I've never really done it before. So yeah, so we'll see you tomorrow. Hey guys, it's now the next day and it's my birthday. Whoop, whoop. There's not much to do, I'm not going to lie, but it's really nice weather. I'm going to eat lots of food. My family's been helping me put up balloons. I'll show you guys that in a bit. But we're going to do some finishing touches on the cake. I'm not going to lie, the cake looks really sick. I just wish I did the the smoothing on the top bit bit better here but it looks really like pretty i got some of these cake decorations on amazon we've got some gold paint and some gold flakes i don't know how this will be but we'll try it and i've got this um new makeup brush i had lying around so i'm just gonna paint the edge of the cake with this gold paint i mean it's actually not that opaque to be honest so i'm just gonna put really like thick bits on like that i don't know if you guys can see the gold to be honest it's actually starting to come together i'm really tempted to get like a brush out and stroke some of the gold paint on the cake but then i just feel like i'm gonna ruin it Should I do it? Do it! Just do it! I think I'm gonna do it, guys. You just gotta do it. It's actually not as opaque as I wanted it to be. Like, it's more on a watery side for sure. doing little flicks here and there and I'm just gonna splatter some on the top I want to put some on the sides now I think because I just feel like it's empty So now I'm taking my gold flakes, sprinkling it on top. It's not doing much on the rim, but I might just sprinkle it all over. 
I'm being artistic right now. Just flick it. Oh. Flick it. That looks like a proper artistic cake, although I didn't do much. I also got these from Amazon to stick on the cake, they're like cake toppers. And I think I'm gonna go for this kind of like geometric one. And I got these cute little candles from Tesco and I thought it went with the theme, like the gold and the purple and pink. Maybe could have done better placement. <laughs> But yeah, this is my cake. It's very pastel-y um, and it's got little flakes of gold. Just a close-up of like the effect. I kind of really like the effect on the top. It looks pretty sick. And then just a close-up of the rim. I don't know, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Everyone is waiting for me to cut my cake, but we're gonna have some lunch and we'll cut this later. Oh my god! Yeah. That looks so nice. What the hell? Don't it? God, put it in a plate. So right nice. Now. Look at that. I'm actually so proud of that. Yeah. I got a cut piece for everyone. They're all waiting. But oh my god, so that tastes nice. so good. Tobo. Guys, the cake is so yummy. I can't really, I can't really taste the pistachio, but it's still, but it's still good. To me now, now. A leaf fell right onto my cake. I'm forced to bug ah. at first. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. <laughs> and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.